Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another cool color grading tutorial and today I'm going to be answering the question uh, from VC Productions asking me about if there is any way that we can do sort of the layer like adjustment layer like you would do in the Adobe Premiere to carry on the color grading throughout different clips. Well, kind of yes and kind of no. And right now I'm going to show you probably well at least as of right now the only method I know to sort of replicate similar workflow so let's start working on it and it's gonna be pretty much fast and straightforward so we have a shot over here that I filmed a couple years ago maybe like two and a half years ago on Blackmagic pocket camera of my friend and very talented actress Andrea <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a very basic color grading. Um, let's see, let me do black magic design. Oops, what's going on here? There we go, black magic design. Just as our main LUT. And probably I'm just gonna do a little a little basic something. I'm gonna dial the look. Da 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 da. Okay, sort of Photoshop 101 here. Pa -pa 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 -pum. Okay, so here's gonna be our look let me okay what am i doing here i think i'm going faster than i can think all right so okay see that's what's going on when you do when you're going too fast that's what i wanted to do luma versus saturation also please forgive me it's like 2 31 a.m i'm doing this tutorial at night because usually i get very productive at night anyways so that kind of looks semi-decent pretty cool grading okay so let's say now that we have a color grading and like I said you know this is just example the way we have something interesting to look at so we have our grade and basically what I've done let me do it again with a little explanation so this is our entire color grading and what I'm gonna do at this moment so I have pretty much one two and three notes that I did my adjustments obviously it's always a nice idea to label them but let's say for the sake of tutorial I didn't so I would select them just like that okay and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click create compound node okay and this one I don't need it anymore because it's empty so here we have a compound node and I'm gonna let's see change label there we go and I'm gonna call this look so let's assume that this is our color grading look and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna grab still okay and by the way um, if you're gonna do this uh, try to make sure that you don't have any keyframing going on because it can mess up the whole thing anyways um, so here's the look and let's say I want to carry on this look to a different clips well I don't know if you know this or not, but if you can select that, you can basically push a middle mouse button and replicate that look to all of them. But if we're talking about sort of adjustment layer, and as we know, adjustment layer goes on top of everything. For example, this is slightly over exposed shot. Um, let's say that I want to add this adjustment layer on this clip. So instead of just pushing the middle mouse button and basically copying the look, let me go back. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select a bend node graph. What that means that it's gonna add to a node our look. So for example, let's say that we turn this into our look, but this shot is a little bit bright. That means we can either, if you want, dial it to taste, play around with transparency, if you like, just like you would do with adjustment layer, let's say, in Adobe Premiere, or if you just have this look, adjustment layer, as in general, just for color, and you don't have any other adjustment going on, what you can do is leave this alone and just start adjusting your stuff, for example, like exposure over here. So let me gain that. So let's dial it down a little bit. So something like that, okay? And if you think that this look over here is a little bit too much, you can just go to the key, 
and dial it down to your taste. But keep in mind, as you're dialing down, obviously everything inside being dialed down at the same time. So it's almost like grouping in the Photoshop. When you, when you group different uh, adjustment layers and you put them in a folder, and if you're adjusting the transparency of the folder, all of them being affected like I'm masking. So I hope it's answered your question. If not, please leave me a comments below, guys. What do you guys think? And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. More tutorials coming soon. And stay cool. Take care.